It is often argued that homosexuality and bisexuality are not normal or not natural and that they have no place on this earth. This however is just a misconception based on insufficient information. In some ways we could argue that since it happens at all that it is natural unless we assume that there is an unnatural external force teaching or manipulating some of us seemingly at random that could change what we were sexually attracted to. Of course, some people claim this to be true, claiming the cause is the media or the devil, and unfortunately, some naturally homosexual people believe that too, living in a life of denial or attending some conversion therapy in an attempt to be normal. But in reality, being gay is completely normal and people should be in acceptance of it. There are so many successful and famous gay people that achieve so much in the world, and today we're going to be naming the top 10 most successful and most influential gay people. Coming in as number 10 is Cynthia Nixon. Sex and the City star Cynthia revealed herself to be bisexual in 2012, having been in a relationship with the man from 1988 to 2003 and then embarking on a relationship with the female education activist Christine Maroney in 2004. The ladies married in May 2012 and Cynthia has campaigned heavily for equal marriage rights in the US. On her relationship with Christine, the actress told the Telegraph, I never fall in love with a woman, but when I did, it didn't seem so strange. I'm just a woman in love with another woman. Number 9, Frank Ocean. Thinking about you, singer Frank made history when he became the first openly gay hip-hop musician, leaving an open letter on his blog in 2012 detailing his relationship with the man when he was 19. The star was praised by the music industry for his honesty and has since been campaigned as uh, the poster boy for homosexuals in the hip-hop industry and beyond. I don't have any secrets I need to keep anymore. I feel like a free man, he said in conclusion to a statement. Number 8, Peter Thiel is the co-founder of PayPal, the largest online transactions system in the world, which makes him higher than most of the major internet entrepreneurs. He is also an outside investor in Facebook and owns a little more than $700 million worth of profits. He who came out to his friends in 2003 now openly identifies as gay which according to some has played its part in his general commitment to changing the venture capital investment. His net worth is about $2.2 billion. Number 7, formerly James Pretzker, now known as Jennifer Pretzker, is a member of one of the most wealthiest families in the United States. The Presker family, owner of the wide chain of hotels operating around the world, a colonel in the US Army, she donates to LGBT charities in millions. As James, she declared her decision to become a woman and start gender reassignment procedure in 2003, thus becoming one of the first billionaires and high-ranking military officials to be openly transgender. Her net worth is $1.5 billion. Number 6, Jane Lynch. In the 1990s, she made a guest appearance on a number of TV sitcoms, including Third Rock from the Sun. In 2000, she appeared in the film Best in Show. In 2002, she landed a leading role on the MDs. In 2005, she was in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, followed by the TV show Two and a Half Men. But in 2009, she got the most famous role to date as Sue Sylvester on Glee. Number 5, Neil Patrick Harris. He is an American actor, a writer, producer, director, comedian, magician, singer, and television host. That's a lot of things. He is known for playing Barney Stinson in the television comedy series How I Met Your Mother, for which he was nominated for four Emmy Awards. Harris was named one of the Times Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in 2010 and was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2011. Number 4. Tim Cook, he is the CEO of Apple and is the latest to join the list of the most successful LGBT people. As he officially came out when he discussed his sexuality in public in Business Week on October 30th, 2014, taking the entire world of social media networks by storm. Though it is wrong to say that he ever was in the closet, he admittedly acknowledged his sexuality as he thought it could potentially help those who are yet to come in term with their sexual identity. His net worth is about $400 million. 
Number three, Chris Hughes. He's one of the five who co-founded the vastly popular social media network of Facebook. In college, he was a roommate of Mark Zuckerberg, the most popular of the co-founders, and helped with the programming and coding of the earliest form of the website, and acted as its spokesperson. After graduating from Harvard, he joined the team. He's now the editor-in-chief of the New Republic magazine, and he's married to Sean Eldridge since 2012. His net worth is about $800 million. Number two, Michael Kors. Michael Kors is a fashion mogul, famous for his huge company that designs and produces women's wear. The company, which is now known all over the world, became public in 2011 and is now worth six figures, but not without ups and downs that Kors faced. In 1993, the business had gone bankrupt, but Kors redeemed himself in 2004. As a judge on the television show Project Runaway, he became a household name. His business has helped him earn a net worth of a billion dollars. Number one, Emmy winning talk show host, Ellen DeGeneres. After graduating from Atlanta High School in 1976, Ellen attended the University of New Orleans as a communication major, but she dropped out after one semester. She held a wide variety of jobs until she turned stand-up comedy making her bones at small clubs and coffee houses before working her way up to MC Clyde's Comedy Club by 1981. Her comedy was described as a distaff version of Bob Newhart. Beginning in the early 1980s, she toured nationally and was named the funniest person in America after winning a competition sponsored by the cable network Showtime. This led to better gigs, including her first appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in 1986. She starred in two television sitcoms Ellen from 1994 to 1998 and The Ellen Show from 2001 to 2002. During the fourth season of Ellen in 1997, she came out as a lesbian in an appearance on Oprah. These famous people came out to make a point, to reach out to those who are scared and to let them know that there is no need to be afraid, to make them believe that as long as they hope and keep believing there will always be a time when they will not need to be scared and find a place in the society as they truly are. Thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe and comment down a good idea for another video. I'll see you guys in the next video.